Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're looking at playing arcade games on the NES and SNES Classic. The games are a little bit different to add and set up and they do require BIOS files, but I'll go over everything you need to get these games running. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is hack your system. I will have a tutorial video in my description to show you how to do that. Once that's completed, open up HackGCE and go to your modules tab, then the KMFD Mod Hub. Go to the RetroArch tab, and install the newest version of RetroArch. Just hit the download module button right here. Then click on the KMFD cores tab and you want the arcade section right here. You can see there's a lot of cores to choose from. What I found out the secret to arcade games is to get the correct set that corresponds with the core you're gonna use. And I have a few references here. For MAME 2000, you want the 0.37B5 set. MAME 2003, you want the 0.78 ROM set. For MAME 2010, you want the 0.139 set and FBA 2016, you want the FBA 0.2.97 ROM set. I personally prefer MAME 2003. It seems to be the most user friendly and has the best compatibility in my experience. So that's what we're using. Just highlight the core, hit download module. You can close the mod hub, go back to your modules tab and install extra modules. You're gonna put a check mark next to whatever core that you added and RetroArch if you didn't install that already. Just hit the OK button at the bottom. A bar will appear on your screen and once it's filled in all the way, it means these cores are installed and they can be used. If you're gonna play Neo Geo games or some Capcom Play System 2 games, you will need BIOS files. We have those right here. You want the qsound.zip BIOS and the Neo Geo.zip BIOS. The QSound zip runs at 2.54 kilobytes and Neo Geo at 1.28 megabytes. To install these BIOS files, go to your Tools tab and go to Open FTP Client. You'll be given a file system here. Go into ETC, Libretro, and System. This folder right here is where your BIOS files will go. So we're gonna highlight those, drag them in here, and that's all you have to do. As for the games, we have three right here. Marvel vs. Capcom, Captain America and the Avengers, and Alien vs. Predator. You'll see they are all zipped. Make sure they stay zipped. That's very important. You add these as is. Do not unzip these games. So we're going to highlight all three games, drag them into HackGee. And you see this box coming up. This is the file system that we're adding here. Just click Import as Archive. You're going to do that for all three games. On the next screen, it's going to ask you what core you want to use for these games. So click the Show All box up here. Highlight your games, and once again, depending on which core you selected, FBA, or the various MAME cores, that's what you want to select under the system window. You'll see the MAME 2003 Extreme Core is not here, so we're going to have to manually put in our command line. If we highlight the core here in the Install Modules area, you'll see this is the command line we want. It's MAME2003-Extreme. So we're going to copy this and paste it into the command line for each game, just like that. We're going to rename the games and add some box art. The last step is to transfer these games from your PC to your console. So if you're going to play these directly from your system, you want the Synchronize Selected Games button right here. If you're using external storage like a flash drive, you want to hit the Export Games button instead. And that's all there is to it. So let's head over to the SNES Classic and take a look. We're going to start out with Captain America and the Avengers, one of my all-time favorite arcade games. I'm going to hit select to quarter up. Oh, and I didn't mention this before. Sometimes you want to find the two player version of games because when you install the four player versions, you're stuck with a specific character. But with the two player version, you get to select your character like this. If we were to get the four player version, we may be stuck playing as Vision. And I don't want to play as Vision. I want to play as Iron Man. Yes. So Red Skull is apparently doing some bad stuff. We're going to grab this rock, one of the strongest weapons in the entire game. And then we're just going to chuck it at a bad guy. We can jump and attack. Also, shoot. Well, Iron Man can shoot. Everybody can kind of shoot. They have some kind of projectile. We can also shoot from the ground. We have a little combo attack. Does anybody want a drink? I have cola. You, sir, you look thirsty. There you go. Delicious. Iron Man is the man. We're going to take this Coke can just in case anybody else is thirsty. Looks like we may have somebody... Both of you are doing just great. Claw and Living Laser. I threw some exploding rocks. I wasn't expecting that. This game is so fun and it's even more fun multiplayer. Oh, that guy. Quicksilver comes in with the heal. Awesome. He just chucks all this stuff at you while he's in some kind of tornado mode. Whirlwind is his name. That's a lame name. I remember him being a lot stronger in the arcade. Take a look at Alien vs Predator Arcade. This is one of the first arcade games I ever got to run on the system. You know, I always like either being the Predator Warrior or Major Schaefer. I like to call him Major Big Arm, but we'll go with the Predator. They're, they're very agile. So here we go, fighting some aliens, blowing them up with our eye lasers. There's a lot going on here. 
Oh, and the slams! Wow, that was nice. We got the super magazines. Time to shoot them down. Everybody is going down now. Just shoot them all. There's too many enemies. We have to run away. I'm sure we'll be okay in here. Just turn on the lights real quick. Oh, never mind. Finally, Marvel vs. Capcom Arcade. I forgot to mention this at the beginning. Some games that will not work are 3D arcade games, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, both Killer Instincts, Primal Rage. There's not too many games that won't play, but those are definitely a no-go. I know a lot of people want to play those, but you can't on these systems. All right, who we got? How about Gambit and Venom? That's a good idea. Good team up. Going against Captain Commando and Wolverine. Oh, wow, I like this outfit on Gambit. Even with all the action going on, the game still runs really smooth. It seems fully playable. Thanks, Jubilee, from the cartoon series. Let's get some Venom in here. Oh, we got him. Got him. We won. We don't usually win these. There you go, arcade games running great on the NES and SNES Classic. And that's all I have for you today. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. This is the part of the video where I thank those users who support the channel through Patreon. Eric Colon, Jordy Alex, William Wind, Mike Muniz, Sam Torres, Yaroslav Orudzov, Din Cardoso, and Batman.